Hi, this is Bruno. Thank you for listening to the songs and my reviews in my channel. This LP vinyl is Chopin Piano Concerto No. 2 in F minor, OP No. 21, the first movement. Alexis Beisenberg played the piano. And St Stanislaw Skrovacevsky conducted. And Paris Conservatoire Orchestra performed. This vinyl was released in 1968 on Angel label. And the condition of the vinyl is very good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with Note Mandy, Phono Super 59Z, Vintage Tube Turntable, made in West Germany in 1959, and still it is working beautifully. Now, I hope to tell you about Frederick Chopin and his Piano Concerto No. 2 in F minor, OP No. 21. Frederick Chopin, the Polish composer and piano virtuoso, remains one of the most beloved figures in music history. Renowned for his exquisite melodies, innovative harmonies, and unparalleled understanding of piano's potential, and Chopin left behind a rich legacy of compositions with his Piano Concerto No. 2 in F minor, OP No. 21, holding a special place with his repertoire. I hope to talk about Chopin's life and artistic development and the composition of Piano Concerto No. 2. Born in Zelazowa, Ula, Poland, in 1810, Chopin displayed exceptional musical talent from a young age. He received his initial training from his older sister and later studied with renowned Polish composer Joseph Elsner at the Warsaw Conservatoire and immersed in the cultural and musical traditions of his homeland, Chopin was also influenced by the works of Western Europe composers like Mozart, Beethoven, and more. Chopin's early compositions, primarily for piano, showcased his natural gift for melody and his innovative use of harmony. He excelled as a performer, captivating audiences with his brilliant technique and poetic interpretations. However, his health, particularly his struggle with tuberculosis, became a defining aspect of his life, shaping his artistic approach and influencing the emotional depth of his music. Composed in 1829, around the age of 20, Piano Concerto No. 2 marked a significant milestone in Chopin's development. While primarily known for his solo piano works, the concertos were a requirement for graduation from the Warsaw Conservatoire. Despite his preference for solo piano compositions, Chopin poured his talent into these concertos, creating works that showcased his pianistic brilliance within an orchestral setting. The con concerto form itself was a well-established tradition in the early 19th century. 
However, Chopin's concertos, particularly number two, deviated from the norm by placing a greater emphasis on the lyrical and poetic qualities of the piano, rather than on the grand virtuosic displays of, actually, often associated with the genre. This shift in focus reflected Chopin's unique compositional style and his desire for a more intimate dialogue between the piano and the orchestra. Piano Concerto No. 2 in F minor is a three-movement work, each movement offering a distinct emotional landscape. The first movement, this opening movement, established the concerto's dramatic framework. The orchestra introduces the main theme, which are then elaborated upon by the piano in a display of virtuosity and lyrical expression. The movement builds in intensity before a more contemplated closing section. Then the second movement. The second movement stands in stark contrast to the first. Marked by a melancholic beauty, the movement features a flowing melody played by the clarinet, which is then taken, by, taken up by the piano. The overall mood is one of in, introspection and emotional vulnerability. The third movement. The final movement is a spirituated polonaise, a Polish dance form. The piano takes center stage, showcasing its virtuosic capabilities <clears throat> while maintaining the rhythmic and melodic characteristics of the polonaise. This movement offers a sense of closure and celebration, balancing the introspective qualities of the early movements. Premiered in Warsaw in 1830, Piano Concerto No. 2 received a mixed reception. While some critics praised Chopin's virtuosity and melodic invention, others felt the concerto lacked the traditional power and drama associated with the genre. However, over time, the concerto's unique qualities have come to be associated, solidifying its place as a cornerstone of the romantic piano repertoire. Chopin's Piano Concerto No. 2 continues to resonate with the audiences due to its blend of virtuosity and lyricism. The concerto allows the pianist to showcase their technical brilliance while also conveying a profound emotional depth. Innovative use of harmony. Chopin's use of chromaticism and other harmonic techniques creates a sense of emotional complexity and intrigue. Nationalistic elements. The inclusion of the Polonaise in the final movement connects the concerto to Polish musical traditions and adding a layer of cultural significance. Frederick Chopin's Piano Concerto No. 2 in F minor stands as a testament to his exceptional talent and his innovative approach to composition. It serves as a bridge between the established concerto tradition and Chopin's unique. Thank you for listening to the song and my review once again, and I hope you had a pleasant time. See you next time. Bye.